But life is, is, is continued work. It's, it's constant learning. I don't even, the whole concept of retirement, I don't even buy into. You know, we should constantly be working, maybe not physically working, but we could be spiritually, emotionally working toward bettering ourselves and bettering the lives of others around us. So, I'm, you know, I, I, I get really afraid of those little comfort, you know, those, those things that make us feel like, you know, we did something great because I've done nothing. You know, I just, I don't believe in, in, in getting comfortable just because everyone says you've arrived. You know, that's not what it's all about. Once you, you, you compromise yourself in one way, you compromise yourself in another way. And you've just opened the door to, <laughs> you know, compromise, mediocrity, settling. And I don't mean, when I say mediocrity, I don't mean, uh, um, I mean that we should constantly be aspiring, you know, to reach higher and higher and higher. We should never be comfortable where we are. You know, we should always be aspiring to, to know more and to better ourselves and to improve ourselves, you know, to improve ourselves. Because that's how we improve the world around us, by working within us. The music industry is just a microcosm of the world. So whenever you stand for something and you stand for goodness and truth, you will always get resistance, that's period. Whether you're in pharmaceutical, the pharmaceutical industry, the record industry or whatever, whenever you stand for truth and for the service, you know, the service of others. See, I, I could make money very easily. I could make records that are self-indulgent and, you know, basically self-promote me. I could do that, I could do that, promote myself. That was redundant, but you know what I mean. <laughs> You know, just do those things. It's very easy. As a matter of fact, you know, lyrically as an MC, that stuff comes easy. But in order to promote something higher, I mean, I feel now at the ripe old age of 25 that the only thing that I could do is, is serve others. Like, it, 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 who saw the, the, the movie The Matrix? Okay, okay. <laughs> Good, then we, we, can, we can start from a point of reference. Matrix was a banging movie to me. And the reason why I appreciated it so much was because, do you remember at the end when Neo like, realized his potential? He started to see the binary code? You remember that, the whole world? Well, I'm, that's where I'm trying to be spiritually. I'm trying to see the word of God in the whole world. So every time that agent throws a punch, I'm like, I see you. <laughs> oh, okay, you know, I'm just catching his punches. You know, so I don't, I'm not afraid, you know, I'm not afraid because I'm starting to see that. You know, things are just, situations materialize themselves and, oh, he's an agent. You know, but, the, but here's the trick, here's the trick, you, you know, here's the trick, is that you have to remember that sometimes you can be an agent. You can be an agent for, to yourself. You can be an agent against someone else and not even realize that you're being used, you know? That's the matrix. For me now, I'm learning that it's more important to be righteous than to be right. I've tried to be right. You know, this is right. This is an injustice. This is a travesty. I'm right. But I've been very unrighteous and still right. Oh my God, you know, because you, you can attack someone completely right, but it doesn't resolve anything. You know, it, 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 doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't solve your problem. So I understand now that the battlefield and that the war is so much greater than what we see before us. Thought that, you know, the Matrix was battling the enemy out there, picking them out. I'm going to find those enemies. I'm going to get that enemy until I realized that until you conquer the enemy in yourself, you can't deal with anyone. In order to be used by God, you have to really be used. You know, we always want to be used for the glorious jobs. Let God put me on the stage in front of the people in the Grammy show with a nice dress on, let me just praise your name. But that's not being used. Sometimes in order to be used, you also have to be humiliated. You have to be humiliated sometimes. You have to be kicked and beaten. And in that situation, the person who's kicking and beating, he's feeling more pain than you are. You know, love is, is an incredible thing, and we don't know love like we should. We always talk about, I have unconditional love. Unconditional love is, we don't even know it, because if a person stops stimulating us, we stop loving them. You're not interesting to talk to anymore. Goodbye. But that real love, that love that sometimes is difficult, 
difficult to have. That's that love. And that's a confidence builder. 